All the Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons, welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM so we can go ahead and set that up. So how this works is when you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, make sure you check out my playlist for my 2021 Sun Moon pr predictions in my playlist. Did I already say playlist? Um, and see if it rang true for you. The first portion of this reading will go over the traits of your sun moon combination i feel a little cough coming on <coughs> i'll lay out the main cards we'll take a quick look at your 2020 second portion of this reading will be the vimeo reading below where i will go into those cards i will clarify those cards in depth and i'll also pull a card of advice for 2022 i'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors so sagittarius sun sagittarius moon you all think fast and move even faster at a rushed and hurried pace <laughs> what guides you is your gut and that works out surprisingly well for you as does your luck try to slow down your earth's axis more meditation relaxation and leisurely activities will only benefit you taking on whatever responsibility life hands you you deal with it with precision thoroughness and speed you have the ability to see the larger picture quickly instead of overthinking minutia Surrounding yourself with positive people is your preference. Those who see the glass half empty can cause you to become depressed and sullen. You have grand visions, but sound judgment when pursuing them. You also have high expectations of other, others and are confused when they do not rise to meet them. You are also confused by people who are overly sensitive or emotional. You prefer to remain in a mindset full of creativity and adventure than dealing with reality. Forever charming, you're appealing to new people and everybody likes to learn from your extensive knowledge on any topic. You have a hard time narrowing, narrowing, narrowing down to just one focus of study. This would be too simple and you like many a complicated thing. You believe you only live once and think little of consequences and actions. Freedom to do as you please and say what you please is important to you. Traveling and adventure is also equally important and feeds your soul. You're not about to give up your liberty, settle down, or have restrictions placed upon you. However, you do inspire others that live sheltered lives to taste everything life has to offer. But blunt truthfulness can hurt others and you don't understand why it was considered insensitive. Dealing with everyday problems and balancing your checkbook are things you tend to avoid. This is because your wandering mind would prefer to be lost in abstract concepts. You must try to control your restlessness and, and your dreamer ways. Your imagination could take you to great heights if you know how to if you knew how to properly channel it although you are great in positions of leadership don't expect leadership don't expect everybody to understand your visions or follow them nor take it personally holy spirit angels divine god's universe can you please find your truth your wisdom your clarity and your insight for our sagittarius suns sagittarius moons for the year 2020 what do you see what do they need to know to reach your higher ground any messages please will be greatly appreciated what do you see for January, February, March for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons? January, February, March, we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. Also, my playlist, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? April, May, June has the Eight of Wands in reverse for you. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Justice card in the upright for September, uh, September, no, wait, <laughs> April, May, June, July, August, September. Sorry about that. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Ace of Pentacles in the upright for October, November, December. Okay, so I see you starting off. In January, February, and March, I feel as though you're being very generous. I feel like you're a benefactor. You're giving somebody a loan. You're helping somebody out. Somebody who is um, going through a difficult time. Somebody who um, is less fortunate. And it, it's some sort of agreement. It, it's like, okay, I'll give you this amount of money, um, you know, to hold to to carry you through to next week. After next week, you know, you pay me back. Um, you know, with 5% interest or something like that. So it, it, it's a mutual arrangement. It's a mutual agreement between you and another person um, or a connection of some sort. Now, 
it's just really strange to me because I feel as though okay so that's a snare I'm trying to think of how to kind of position so I feel like that is kind of the arrangement that you make with this person and then in April May June this person disappears on you I mean ghost gone nothing you're trying to get in touch with them you're trying to see hey what's going on how are things going with you how's that money I loaned you um, you know if it isn't money then then hey you know you know I helped you out with this so, and you said you were gonna help me out with that um, you know you're leaving messages you're trying to get in touch with them like nothing um, I feel like they skip town I feel like they're ghosting you they're no contact with you whatsoever so I don't think you're very happy about that. I think you're very frustrated by that. If this is a relationship, this could also be, you know, you poured everything into the relationship and you were helping this person get on their feet or you were the one kind of, you know, doing everything and the understanding was or the hope was that, you know, those affections would be returned or what have you. And then boom, this person just absolutely disappears, not returning your calls, like nothing. Um, so it looks like in August, in July, August, September, with the justice card in the upright, uh, which is the card of Libra, you're seeking your justice. So uh, for some of you, you actually might be going to court and pursuing this. <laughs> you might be suing somebody. You might be trying to get back what they owe you by legal means. Um, and usually when the justice card shows up, the outcome ends up in your favor. So that might be a good channel for you to actually take. Um, for others of you, you just want to seek justice in general. You want to know, you know, what just happened? Why did you do this? You might try to get answers. You might try to get what is owed to you from this person, not legally, just, you know, through other means, even just a damn phone call or something like that. But that's what you're seeking is justice. Um, I feel like you get it in October, November, December because we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So I do feel like you're rewarded a sum of money or you do get what is owed to you. Um, not only do I feel like you get what's owed to you, I feel like you get what is owed to you and then some. And again, it doesn't have to be in a sense of money. I feel like it's in a sense of practical, um, you know, a practical matter, you know, whatever was owed to you, um, this person is either forced to pay up or this person comes through and does the right thing and ends up kind of you know giving you um this big pinnacle that you've been owed so that's what i'm seeing for your uh, 2022 again if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm otherwise make sure you click on the vimeo link below for the clarification portion of this reading while where i will go into these cards in depth and also pull a card of advice for you for 2022 otherwise i'll see you in the vimeo reading adios from veronica garnet sagittarius sun sagittarius moons bye